Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I have been covering Anthropics models, tools and frameworks for quite a long time now. To be honest, I always felt that they were lagging behind OpenAI in a lot of ways, but recently they have improved a lot. They have been releasing tools a lot. They have been releasing frameworks that are working, which is quite good. And most importantly, their API costs have come down a lot. I still remember that few months back, Anthropics models were one of the most expensive ones. And I have trialed them in production. So I'm telling you from a real world example. But now they have slashed the prices and now it is quite usable and economical in my opinion to use their model, especially the Claude Sonnet one, which is quite a performant model. Now that is why I have purchased the API credits for, uh, from them. So this is um, a paid service, of course, it's not a free one, but still I believe there are a few features which are worth it, especially if you are not using them for a large scale production environment. In that case, it will become very expensive. Anyway, I just stumbled upon a new feature released by Anthropic, which in my opinion should be included in every API based model or hosted model. And that feature is of citation. Now, this feature seems quite good in a sense that it provides us the perfect source referenced by the LLM because it doesn't matter whether the LLM is number one or not. LLM must always show us the reference. It must always tell us that where exactly it has obtained its information, especially if it is not part of its training data sets. Lot of model providers are now integrating tool use or function calling behind the scene. So if you ask them a question and if it is not included in their base training data set on the fly, they go to the web, search it and give you the response back and user cannot really tell if it came from models own training data set, if it came from internet or if models simply just hallucinated and gave you the confabulated response. That is where this new feature citation helps a lot. And that is why in this video, I'm going to show you a custom app, which I built with Gradio and also this citation. I will also give the code to you. I will just put it in my GitHub repo. You can get it from there. The link will be in video's description. Of course, I, I will be using Anthropic's model. So you would need the API key from Anthropic. That is a paid option. I have just put in $10 US in my account and that is what I will be using. Towards the end, I'm also going to tell you how much did it cost. I don't think so it will cost much as long as I don't use huge uh, documents and stuff anyway. So let's get started and see how it works. Before that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video. IgentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so that said and done because we will be using API based. So we don't really need a GPU for this video. I am using this Ubuntu system, but you can use this code or anything anywhere on Mac or Windows or wherever you like. So let's first create a virtual environment with Coda. You don't have to create it, but I'm just creating it to keep everything separate from my local system. Now, while it creates this uh, virtual environment, let's talk a bit more about this citation feature. So this citation feature this is this allows the developer to ground AI answers directly in user provided documents such as emails or PDFs. And you can use it with Anthropics API and even uh, in Google Cloud Vertex AI, which also provides you Anthropics model and citations link AI generated output to specific sentences and passages in source documents. Okay, so let me also create the prerequisites you see. Besides of Torch and Transformers, I'm also installing Gradio and Anthropic towards the end. So let's wait for it. And while it happens, let's talk a bit more about citation. So this feature simplifies development workflows by eliminating the need for custom prompt engineering. 
and citations really improve recall accuracy by up to 15 percent as per anthropic which is quite good and as i said earlier i think this is quite a good feature because it addresses a critical challenge in ai to the ability to verify the origins of ai generated information it really if you uh, build your application with citation it really shows uh, the trustworthiness and steerability, making it particularly suited for applications where accuracy and transparency are paramount. Anyway, let's. Um, that was a quick introduction. Now let's wait for it to get finished. Okay, so everything is installed. Now, in order to run this, all you need to do is just to just do Python and app.py so this is a whole code primarily let me quickly show you the code and then we will run it so if i go up i'm just importing few of the libraries and then as i said you can either go with pdf or you can give your text document or text file this is where we are just creating the prompt template for the anthropic and i have covered this anthropic api a lot on my channel uh, so if you're interested in this exact code uh, format, which is OpenAI compatible, you can check the channel or you can simply go through this. This is simple Python code where we are just uh, doing some PDF manipulation and then we are giving the responses back. You can see this is where we are calling the Anthropics key. You can either put your key here or it will also give you uh, an option to do it in the Gradio interface, which I will show you shortly. So you see that this is where we are creating the standard <coughs> Gradio blocks, which is a very, very simple GUI interface. So this is a whole code. Now let me run it. And you can see that now it is running on our local host at port 7860. Let's go to our browser and access it there. I'm just going to use this maybe, or maybe I'll just open a new tab. There you go. So we can chat with it um, with Anthropics Cloud citations. You need to put your API key here. Let me put my API key here. Hopefully it won't show you the API key. Okay, so I have put in my API key <clears throat> and first I will show you how to do it without uh, enabling the citations. I'm just going to ask it who is Fahad Mirza. Let's see, I'm sure you see it is saying that it is some Pakistani actor, which is of course not me. Now let's enable citations and then select PDF. I'll just give it a PDF file from my local system, which just contains my uh, data about me. And now let's ask it who is Fahad Mirza. Let's wait for it. And I will let it run in real time while it runs. I also want to acknowledge and give due credits to Yuvraj Sharma and Gradio for the inspiration. So I took the inspiration from the Yuvraj code, which is thank you, and also from Gradio. So that was amazing, really. And let me go up to show you what happened there. So you see, let me provide you with accurate information about Fahad Mirza based on provided documents. So now it has grounded the response on the basis of the document which I provided and if I go down this is a citation you see so it has given a lot of information from this now this is not groundbreaking I know this has been uh, here for uh, at least one year lot of other models lot of other frameworks are doing it but doing it with this is it is quite good and then they have made it the part of their API, which is quite cool. Now, this is sort of a rag too, which is nice. And I believe that this should be the must and given with any model out there, especially the hosted models. And then, as I said, you can do it with uh, plain text or combined. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.